All right, guys, this is your boy, like one half endure, and we're back at it again with another video. Another good, good video. Um, so, you might have seen another video earlier before. I had a, um, my birthday would just, just pass this past week. I'm a Libra, of course, so my birthday just passed. And I want to talk about basically my haul, but go to certain things. So for right now, I just want to basically, I'm just want to do a compass, con, con, uh, compare and all that stuff. So of course, this is my regular switch. This is the first switch I have I, I that I got. This is funny enough. This is what I bought. Remember, if you watched the first video, the video of what I switch, Katie got the one that, was, that that Kenji sent me. So this is my switch that I bought because again, it was more personal console. So we got that. And just to show you, you see. This one really does not have the Metroid on it um, because I've been doing stuff. And this is basically, this has been relegated to like a console. So I got this hooked up to my TV to that, to a special dock you saw with all the colors changing. I have this most of my console switch most of the time. And that's upstairs in my um, bonus um, living room, basically my movie room and, and gaming room. Of course I have, this is the one I've been playing all the time. So, as you can see, you got the Metroid Dread. You got my hours against. Shout out to Kenji for giving me this game to play. So, we're going to have these as con compare contrast later on. But just saying, hey. And a lot of people, I, like I said, this is the OG Switch. So, it ain't not the one with the approved battery life or nothing. All right. But this one, I I got a Switch Lite because I'm also going to keep it downstairs. So, once I first on Nintendo did a whole, you know, Main console, then you know you could do dummy console, dummy console. I like that setup really that way. I that's how I did this. Not only thing I ain't got in in a way is my own SD card for the other one, but hey, I say it's gonna be for comparison only. So let's move that off these off to the side. Of course, I'm gonna have to be doing these later. So my is my switch here. I gotta. Replaced it, the screen, the class screen in it because I didn't install it right and it just had bubbles in it and I hate that. So I want to I want to replace it. Of course, I have the that right here. I got this, played it, never put a screen on it. So of course, I have the screen for the small switch. I picked that up, so I'm gonna put it on this just to protect it as well too. And of course, I have this one for you know, the star of the show later on. So I got my other one that I put on my switch. Okay, so first of all, before we get to the start of the show, but still meat and potatoes, I want to pick up, tell you some games I picked up. One of them is not here because it's gonna come out next week. Which, again, I have my little gripes with the with the with the developers. No ifs ands about it. But the price is good, so I said, all right, I'm picking it up, and it's a great game. Just wish the developers didn't talk bad when it turned out when it first happened. But. I am picking up the Ori and the Blind Forest collection, the twin one cartridge. Like that, you're gonna enjoy that. With that said, so basically I've been playing this game a lot. And you saw me, saw the video I talked about the last video I did. Um with the direct, you saw me talk about this. This, I'm trying to, I'm gonna get a second now. I am confident I'm gonna get the second game to this. This is a very good game. I didn't think I, you know. It's a different type of game that I, you know, RPG, but I love RPGs together. And the story is pretty good. I have to admit, I was surprised by it. So this is a very good game. Um, again, it's like uh, Animal Crossing and the battle system is like um, Tokyo Mirage System. So I like it. Keeps it snazzy. Uh, I think I'm halfway through the game right now because I put over 50 hours in this game. Yeah, I think about 50 hours in this game I put in there. So, this, of course, came in. Of course, you know, I just got lit recently and i just been killing it. Another game I picked up on a cheap. Thank God it was cheap because it was expensive for a while. If you go to if you go to a play, um, play Asia, it's like $200 for the game. But I got the special. I got this. 
the special special edition of Gundam uh, Red Cross Platinum Edition that has all the DLCs and everything, all the all the DLCs and everything, season pass and everything's in here, which is good. This is a I played about maybe an hour of this game. It's pretty good. The reason I, I reason I picked this up because I like Gundam, but you know, certain Gundams, certain Gundam series speak to me. Some don't. I, I, and Budapest does have Gundam, you know, have the, have it inside of their um, Super Robot Wars. They have Gundam in there and Cross. But there's certain other, there's certain other um, characters in um, Super Robot Cross I'm not a fan of. So it's just like I never got into it. That's why I took up took to the OG saga way better. Super Robot Tyson OG saga is so good, and this is basically that style of it. And, and like I said Brand Festo did not do this one. It but you know, Navco is one of it, so they have that kind of situation. But playing this game, I liking it so far. I and I seen all the stuff when I when I download when I not everything got downloaded, I was like, oh, um, which is on the cartridge, sorry, it's on the cartridge, and, and you can use. I was like, holy smoke, I got a while to play this game, and this is an RTS kind of game, so it's gonna be a while. But liking this, of course, I picked up a backup copy of this. This is the anniversary edition, Street of Range, which has, of course, the Nightmare DLC also included all on the di on the cartridge, which is what I like. You know what? You know how I am with that. Like I said before, that's one of the reasons I'm picking up. I'm not sure the next the, the, uh, and next edition to the family, because cartridges last way longer, and I'm gonna have me. I want backup to backup. Cause sadly, my 3DS that I had, I, that's that's basically you saw the beginning of the whole of the channel. That the battery life for that sucked. Now it's like you don't stay off for maybe about like maybe 20 minutes at the most. So I gotta replace the battery on that. That's why I bought me a backup 2DS XL. That's why I have that just in case. So that keeps on going. So there you go. So this is in that situation. But Shooter Age Four. Yep, anniversary edition. Everything is in there. Get, pick that up. Eternal Blade 2. Now they have one for Switch. I don't know if they have a physical. I think I thought I said physical. But if you like Castlevania, this is basically a Castlevania like game and it's really good. The first one came out in 3DS. I played it. I enjoyed it. So 2 came out and so far it's a whole other. It's basically, like I said, like a Castlevania kind of type of thing. So it's pretty cool. It has its hard. Uh, it's hard because you have to do certain to do certain sequences and moves. You gotta, you know, time it, do stuff, move time fast, all kind of stuff. It's it's very intricate. But picked it up. I have, there's a demo out there. Go play the demo. I think you'll like it. And then you have that. The demo's long. The demo's longer than I thought it would have been. This is so you could play the demo and see what happens. Check it out. Check it out. Cause the demo's longer than I thought it would have been. I thought it would have just been to, to the first boss and go. Nope. They gone into multiple bosses. I'm like, what the heck? Did they know that they're supposed to just give us piece of the game, the whole game? So, uh, that, if that's the case, I don't know how long this game really is. And of course, before I I, I had I got this at a good collection, uh, I had to because I said the 3ds one is like ninety nine dollars. This one I got for fifty bucks. I said, yeah, I gotta pick it up. So yeah, and of course the new game, the new version came out. So I'll catch up with that. When I got a chance, that ain't going nowhere, but I had to get, uh, of course, you know, the world ends with you. Just, just had to. So, these are games that I picked up and I enjoyed. Now, we go on to the, give me one second here. Nope, I don't have it here. Do I? I don't want to rip. I don't want to rip the box. Uh, let's see if that this works. So of course, we're going to talk about the main game. Now I luckily got mine. I got like I said, Kenji gave me the digital version of Metroid Dread, but I got my copy through um, special edition copy through um, through GameSpot. GameStop, sorry, spot. GameStop. So, I got that. Oh, well, you know what? I also forgot. Thank you. Right here. 
I also got um some. I, I could show them. I show them. Like, I have two of these. I have one of these, and uh, I picked it up a while ago. I could tell you that. Tell um. Uh, so, before we get into this, let's do one more thing. So that I picked up for my. Like I I bought this for my birthday and I enjoy it. If you're looking for quality, um, it's just it's, it is quality. It's 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 weird. It's quality for a low price. These are called um. Audio One, I think that's what they're called. Audio One, let me cover the nice thing. These are Audio One um, headphones. I use this for doing my music and stuff. And man, I like these. If you're looking for uh, um, the easy, very adjustable, they could flip because they're mostly they're built for DJs, really. So that's why the quality is really good, even though it is um, no, it's one one audio. That's what it is. One uh, one audio. These are really good. And I love this on right here. The the the, the earphone of so so soft and silky on your ears. It's like oh, I it feel so good. I have studios that's from um, Shonen and their studio studio hair quality st headphones, and they're like um, what is it? How can I say this? It's like I could, well, you know what? Best if I could show you. That would be the best thing. These are more expensive than these. These because these are uh, studio headphones that I used to record whatever. These are of course, sure. Like, like I said, it's all good. It it, it it has great sound and everything. I'm not denying it and everything, of course. But this is what this is. Like I said, it's just basically studio head quality headphones. But it does that. Look, at, I'm I'm gonna show you right here. Like this. Like I gotta spray like a softener on these so they don't crack. Because this, they just, you know, it's just hard on your ears. I mean, they do the job, but it's hard on your ears. Now this, this is supple. Like, oh my goodness, just that's why I bought them. That's why I had to buy a second pair. Because basically, I have this is my other. This is this is my other pair I have right here that I use doing um, doing other stuff. But these are just supple and nice. So if you the audio one that uh, Amazon. Trust me, you won't you won't get it if you need um, phone you know hardwired um, headphones. They're very good and, and, a, and a great price. And they come with of course they come with a phone. They come with a phone or uh, a phone. You know headphones like a plug in and you know a, a quarter plug in that's phone like or they come in like this, which is I like this is for like I do for my studio. So if you want to use it for your phone and everything, you could do the same thing too. And the thing about this, I like they have a share thing. So basically, if you this goes into whatever you're listening to, or you could flip it, which is what which I like. The other side has the bigger one, so you could flip it, put this one in here, have the audio, and if you have another headphone jack, uh, and if you want to share with people, you put it in there. And I've, that'll come in handy when I'm doing some of the monitoring and stuff when I'm doing my studio work, doing music. So again. Put good if you if you're looking for some um, he, uh, wired headphones, I'm telling you right now these are pretty good. Put these away. All uh, right, like I said, got pins from uh, pin set from um, GameStop. So you know I don't know I have a bunch of pins. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. I might do a little collage thing and put them and. Put them on a board on my wall. That would be the best thing to do. <laughs> but, and these will come in handy for a second when I go into it. So I'll just put this here. So. I don't know what I'm going to do in my closet yet. My gaming closet. How I'm going to do this. Because I like this. I like. I, I do like how they have the. the. Of course they have the Chosen Warriors. Samus. And of course big bad back there but I do like the Emmy I like the, I like the 3d print looking art thing like that like I like this as well too so I don't know which one I'm gonna put to be shown because you know if you know my closet my gaming closet you know how I got it like I got all the special editions up top and everything so 
But let's dive into this son of a gun right here. This is what we're, this is what I'm waiting for. This is my physical birthday gift thing. So, oh, come on. There we go, Get let's get this started. Whew, that is, that is a beefy little book. So, oh wow, that is so cool. I didn't notice that. Look at that. I didn't notice that. They have the, basically the Emmy made into the, um, the styrofoam, which is cool. I didn't notice that. <laughs> That's awesome. That's the attention to detail, my friend. Okay, that's all, of course. Okay, that's it out of that. So, we have the book. Mission, logs, journal, journal. We have this, which is just what I said I want to compare to this. It's basically the same thing in here. This is from Other M. This one's that. And of course, yes. And you know I already have a couple steel books already in my Switch collection. So yeah, this is going to be right beside them. This has, of course, my Fire Emblem and everything. So, yep. But this game is going to stay in there because I have the digital version. I'm good. Let us look at... <clears throat> Take the plastic off of this. And just look at this right here. Let's see what these cards are. If they're quality compared to the that's what I want to see if they're quality if quality if they're quality too compared to the um Metro on the M1. You know, the game that everybody hates for some reason. Got a plastic shiny little thing on there. Okay. Let's see here. Okay. Everything on the, uh, basically no, there's nothing on the back. So, of course, the Metroid, then Return of Samus, then Super Metroid, then Fusion, then Dread. So this is basically this basically all the 2D games. Okay, so yeah, the 2D game sit situation. So it would be, that's what it would be, the 2D game, the 2D situations. So that's what these are. Okay. Well, all right. Cool. Uh, Michael, do something with these as well, too. I don't know. Uh, again, I could frame them in a certain way and put them on the wall. That would be cool. The reason I'm saying them because, again, that's it's all right, but I like, this is basically the artwork right here. Like, I like this. Like, you know, seeing, like, so I was kicking the um, the Zebus, Pazibians, as I should say, and the explanation of close combat. Of course, like I said, this is where most of the stuff from Dread comes from with the, with the kind of the action, and everything. So people didn't like it, I did, and oh man, the execution finishes oh, was awesome. That was awesome. I mean, Anthony and. Yep, Anthony Higgins, yep, and Sam Saran. Of course, the voice that you're hearing, Dread, for anybody who never played the game, this is how the guy looked. This is Adam Malkovich. That's the voice you, you hear that's talking to Samus and Dread. And also, if you ever get a chance to play Z uh, Fusion, Adam, being that he was an officer and call, used to call her the lady. This is Samus Aran when she was younger. A little chip on her shoulder and everything. And this is the suit that they had, that took on and get later on, but people didn't like it. People were like, oh man, whatever. But hey, it's it's cool. Of course, scenes like I just like that. And you could, and like I said, you have stuff on the back. So this is one thing from Metroid on the mission, the special edition I got. That's what I like about it. You get these things. And I, other M is in my. And I'm telling you right now. Even though I have, even though I have Dread, and Dread is such a good game. Such a good game. Other M is in my top five. 
how people don't like it, whatever. But it it was a sound game and the story to it filled in a lot of plot holes for me from the fusion timeline. So sorry. Yes, yes, I'll just um, cut in a little bit of this. Let me cut that a little bit. Just to see what it's all about. Very shiny book, I'll tell you that. And I know my sister Katie would love this. Oh, this is a thick book. This is a this is a thick boy. Okay, so they have all the stuff from the, yep, this is where you, if you ever played the Metroid, original Metroid, that's what it was. These are the characters that was on the, the book. Okay. All the monsters they have. Yep, this is where they had Kraid and how Ridley was before. Different versions, which is weird. They have Turtle Samus. Okay, so that's pretty good right there. So they have that, so you get to see where how the suit came from and how it evolves and everything. Liking that. I am liking that. Of course, Mother Brain, of course, which was the Aurora system. Ridley, so this is Super Metroid. Uh, Super Metroid. This, of course, has to be Fusion. So, it like, like I said, seeing that they're always sticking to the 2D line. So, this is Fusion, of course. And then, uh, with X Parasites. And that's what the dag is. Sadly, that's... Sadly, that's basically what the... After the X Parasite did to the, some of the researchers, which is kind of messed up. Samus Returns. Zero Mission. Samus Returns, of course. Which Cray was a bad was a bad mo for in, in that one. Self return was really good. And you, you piece of crap. This right here, everybody who knows this, oh, I was so happy the way that Samus killed him and, and killed this damn robot in the first one. But yep. Boom, the boom, the boom. To that, to this, to that, to that. Hmm. Oh, that's, oh I, got, I gotta show that off. I'm just seeing something here, so let's see if, yeah. I gotta show that off. That, that is, that right there is, is crazy. I don't know, I don't wanna spoil anything, because I ain't finished the game. And I know this is different types of stuff, but Basically, this will be like what the Iron Man Juggernaut, uh, uh, Hulk Smasher, but I love that blue. That blue just mm, 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 mm. sexy, sexy, sexy. Man, you got so much stuff in here. So I'll leave it at that. Book is good. So. I'm gonna put this, oh, of course, I'll put these back in that box and hang and find a spot to put these in the situ in my in the room. All right, and again, pretty cool. Again, that they have this the AMEs on the back. Uh, it was when I saw that, I was like, What the heck? I'm like, oh, wow, so that's cool right there in that regard. Let's put this out of the way, and last but not least, let's do the star of the show, man. The star of the show. You got it. I have. Now, this is, again, the Switch OLED. All right? I might do my own little video review of it and everything. This is just an unboxing. But the reason I got this is because I got so many Switch games. I have over 100 Switch games already playing. And so, without that much games, and we still got more games coming out. Prime, Kirby. Um, there's some games I still have not picked up yet that I want to play. This might, as, um, of course, Zelda, Zelda Breath of the Wild too. Like, these are games that's gonna be forever. 
So I have to admit, when it comes to inno in innovation, I still love my Wii U. But when it comes to just pure fun and games, I cannot deny it. Switch has come as number one on my console now, so I can't deny it. But I still love the games from the Wii U. Love the games from the Wii U. Love playing them on the Wii U. Some games I just I buy that make thing like like I said, Batman Arkham Arkham Knights. I mean I buy Arkham City, whatever it is, Arkham Edition. That is never gonna. That's best on the Wii U. Sorry. So let's see here. So we have. We have so in here we got the the screen which is much a little bit bigger so I'll put it to the side. We have the Joy Cons which I've heard that these Joy Cons are no different from the other ones so they still have drift so I'm like again yeah. then I like dang it Nintendo why again and I said this again Nintendo need to fix this thing that's a messed up part man you gotta fix this. I already have plenty of these around switch cords, so I'm gonna worry about that. HDMI switches. I still I think I might hook this up still with when I have my light. As my sister, my sister saying she she likes the light, so she said don't get rid of the light. So you have that. You have your little shelf for your thing, which I don't really use. HDMI Nintendo version, so I can use that. And uh, let's go here. And look at the and just pull out this little sexy little thing right here, which is the dock, which looks like I said, I like it. I like what the dock looks like. It just looks yeah, it looks way much nicer. I just like the rounded edges more, it's bigger. It has the little plastic so you, you know that you don't mess up your switch as well still, but of course you have the case on there, it should be the glass thing on there, nothing. This has a bigger loop now, if you want to do that the route, they said. And this could come off. And of course you have AC, you have HDMI out, you have your LAN. So if you like smash and stuff like you put the LAN in there. So that's where the USB, this used to be a USB in there, but they took that out. But I like the dock, I really do. It looks nice and I like how it's all rubber, uh, like, a, like a rubberized plastic now, so it don't really move. Like they have the feet on the other one, so yeah, I like that. So, I gotta figure out a way to put this box in my situation, but let's take this out of the way. Now I know, like I said, I just got it, so it's not gonna be, you know, whatever, but I, I could tell already the screen does look way better. And they, and they also, also I've heard there's a problem with this switch which you should go into the, uh, check out the auto brightness and console, it has a console setting so you can fix out the switch as well too. So I'm trying my best not to get a lot of, um, you call it, fingerprints on there. So let's see here. Let's put this up here. Put that there. Let's go. Click one. Take two. Let's 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 see a little differences we have. Like I said I might do a review still of it, but just see a little differences of you know, of it. So you still have um, Ali Jack up top. Ali Jack up top. The power buttons and and the the power buttons and the look a little. Di it's bigger, a little different. Uh, big vents here, small vents up here. We'll see how that works. I noticed that if you, you see, I always have nails because I, you know, they don't have that little divot now that you could dig out. So if, if you don't have that, you know, that's what will be a problem for you. Uh, I know they were saying that. The speakers are now firing from down here. It has little speakers and you cover up, used to cover up with your hands. Now it's, it's not firing from that spot so that's good of course we know everybody has a problem with the had a problem with the um what do you call it the switch is um this right here let's just you know that's what the thing used to be you had a problem with that and 
Like I said, mine never had a problem, but it's still one way if some people want it that way. So now we have, this is the back stand, which is the whole thing. And yeah, it is stiffer. It is stiffer. So you can put it in any situation you want. You can put it like down there or up here or this way or whatever. So, hey, okay, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. So, of course, you when you flip this up, you have, this is basically a sliding, that's where you're sliding your SD card, which I don't have one. I have plenty, but you know what I mean. So, put that there. I need one that's big, because that's what I said I'm gonna have, so. Put my switch back down. And you can see all three switches now. On, on on here all right let's turn this one on because like I said I didn't turn it on yet connect pretty good because I'm right beside one of the routers. Bingo, that's what I'm gonna say. Thank you. No, I am not. Where would You really gotta go through all this. Making you go through all this stuff. So it's gonna look like it's gonna take a while. I don't want to prolong the video no longer than that since it's already that. I can already see the how the weight is, but I'm gonna just show you with all screens turned on. Hmm. I would like to, like I said, I'll do a video. I, I'll do this whole personal video like that because I want to see. But you can see the difference in all the screens right there. The size difference. And everything. I have to say this too. Um... 
I, you know, listen. I remember Shadow Fox had his podcast about a switch, and now now the audio is different. Yes, it's firing a different spot, but it's more like bass and treble. I've listened to listened to this video a couple of times, and I'm you know I'm an audiophile, and that's yeah, it is a little more better. Not a lot, but you could hear the difference. You could hear some stuff around, so it is that. So right now, you you can't see, and like I said, the one of these screens just pops more. I don't know if you can see it. It pops more. So let's just play. Let's see if we can do this all in one shot. And I gotta say, the way that they she lost her powers this time, and you gotta build back up. But it's a it's a game trope. It's, I understand that how that works. But at least this one also works pretty good. It makes sense in this game. So yes, I like that. Not every attack. Just letting you know that. Yep, that is crazy how you can do some movements with that thing once you get it. Trust me, you you love it. Oh yeah, and for the people who don't like backtracking, yeah, there's gonna be some. They, they, they minimize it in a way here, but it's more like a fusion game. This is really like a fusion setup, but still. Then we got some backtracking. And them, these guys are pain in the butt. I have not gotten that yet. Because again, I'm not running into the, into things like most people. I am taking my time with the game, so that's why. And I do like the kind of the kind of uh, puzzle game they have to defeat these things. Yeah. Oh yeah. Tell you that right now. So right now, I'm just playing it. You can see, look at your eyes. It's harder. I know it's harder on a screen. This is a ten. This is. I'm not recording this in um, 1040 um, 4K. I'm recording it in um, in 1080p, but you can still see the, the sharpness, hopefully through the screen that I'm seeing. And oh yes, I am happy to get my amiibo. 
add that to my collection. to add that to my collection so again that's how that works out well like I said I'm gonna give you guys a review of this as well a discussion review on this and Metroid Dread and like I said Dread is a part of the sexiness of these steel books I have here special edition so I am happy to have these combined you know have my couple of steel books. I wish I had the Metroid Prime trilogy selection, but again, at that time, I wasn't thinking that. But cool to have it the way it is, just to have this you know, the steel book. Fire Emblem, of course, which I have the disc downstairs, and Smash is have that's also its own thing. But I also got a special. I, I have a problem with that because, of course, my Smash is in here. Which is, you know, special edition again from Kenji. That's how my smash comes. It came to me from him. Thank you. Just looks like the re just. I like this. Everyone is here. This is how my smash came, looking different. <laughs> Ultimate, yes. So right now, having my sexy new dock with the. Switch, special switch again. I had from from um, Ken, so I'm good. Having that my light a lighter for that, and of course I have to have my update. So update of how things are. So this is basically now the switch lineup, and the switch OLED is right there. The switch light box, original switch. Have all the stuff in there still. I had to move stuff around. So my Wii U's there, DS to 3DS is still down here. Wii GameCube again. My collection is getting bigger, and of course, I'm gonna put some game music in that little stand right there. But that's my special edition up top. All this, you know, from Pokemon, um, Okami, Fire Emblem, Nintendo, of course, my Nintendo Super Nintendo Mini. Lunar's Braid, Xenoblade, Fighting Climax, Xenoblade for that, Sakuna, Smash, of course, from, you know, Breath of the Wild, my backup 2D, 2D XL, which is what I wanted, of course, from um, Starlink, Metroid, Eternal Silence, the Dread up there, you gotta have the, you know, all that sexiness, of course. That Fire Emblem's back there, it's not showing that very well. Street Ranger, look at the Street Ranger collection, Charles of Cold Steel, Sonic, and that. So that's yeah, collection is going up. Classics game big with games, man. Again, tons of money in here. God at least be like I, uh, I was said my girlfriend, she was asking the question. I said, Yeah, this has gotta be at least about close to twenty five thousand dollars of stuff in here because some of these are special stuff like the sign signed CD, signed stuff, the GameCube that's signed and modded, all that special stuff, yeah, cost money, so. Welcome to the family, Switch OLED, and again, there are going to be more, I know there's going to be a Switch 2 coming out, or Switch Pro is what I'll call it, that's what will be in that situation, and again, with all these games, this is the only reason I got a backup system, because I have so many games that I have not played, beaten, and I need to add to it and beat, so. Yes, that's why I got that as a backup from this to this. And this is still going to be like a handheld setup situation. But I only play handheld more than this because I, I got a screen. You'll see, like I said, you'll see a, a, a video about that and also about Metroid Dread. So I hope you guys enjoy your night. I hope you guys are playing your Metroid Dread and playing your games, of course. And you know how it is for me. Remember, there's no perfect games out there. What's perfect to you is not perfect to me. What's perfect to me is not perfect to you. Simply enjoy your games on all consoles, including PC. Peace out. Have yourself a good night.